you come and go. I don't think he meant it that way. Love would be easy if your colors were like my dreams. Red, gold, and green. Red, gold, and green. Probably copyrighted. <laughs> hey, welcome back to our stupid reaction. It's the Corbin. I'm not Boy George. No duh. You can follow us on Instagram, it's Twitter, Twitter Juicy Content. 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 Juicy Today we're directing a Tamil song. It's called Yulala. <laughs> That's the proper pronunciation. Yulala. Yeah. How would you pronounce it? Yulala. But I wouldn't scream it like a dying chicken. Uh, why not? Uh, the song is from the movie Peta, starring a superstar Rajnik. Uh, written and directed by uh, Karthik Subaraj. The music director is. Mm. Anirudh Ravi Chandar. The singer is... Nakash Aziz and, and Eno Gendra. <laughs> I just read everything but the names. <laughs> that's, that's what I do here. Cool. Uh, so, uh, yeah, that's all I know. Superstar Rajnikant. Superstar. Superstar. Why don't we say Superstar Shah Rukh Khan? Because he's not a superstar. That's incorrect. I know. Probably a megastar. He's a nebulous. Here we go. He's definitely playing that. Oh yeah, hundred percent. The impressive thing is how old I know he is in this video. Yeah, exactly. Isn't he like 70? 70 probably, yeah. That was great. <laughs> the fact that he's still doing musical numbers. Yeah. That old. And the best wigs in the business. Yeah. Dang, cinematography. Look at that shank! Good grief! Looks like it's out of Lame Miz! It does! The golden hue on everything is incredible! That's definitely green screen. But yeah, that was La La Land green screen. Yeah, it was beautiful. Dang. Hats off to the cinematographer. Definitely playing the harmonica. Now the horn is a trumpet. <laughs> I do not hear a trumpet. Oh, there it is. Yeah, okay. there it is.
Even got that pink hue on the smoke there. Okay, so very fun song, right? Yeah. He's a lot of fun to watch. Yeah. I'm impressed by the fact that he's the age he is and he's still rocking. Yeah. But like a lot of videos that we see, the star of this thing is your production team. Yeah. Mind boggling. The amount of work that went <coughs> in, I'm guessing that was a constructed set. Yeah, 100%. Some of the detail that went into things for just a few seconds of visual. Yeah. Making sure the gold and the blue blended with the smoke and the lighting, the hot lights that were golden and not the balance and the color correction. Freaking unbelievable. Yeah. From the cinematographer to the lighting to the special effects team to the, uh, the practical. Post-production folks. Yeah. The fact that like <laughs> that thing looked like an insane picture. Um, that's been nicely edited uh, is uh, quite impressive. And also, I'm also always impressed by, you know, obviously Rajna Kant is he's old now and he's never been the best dancer. Right. But they're always extremely kind to him. Like yeah. he always still has these really energetic songs. Right. They don't make him do the insane moves. Not at all. So they, they, they're kind to him in the directing yeah. and the, the uh, choreography to make him still, obviously he's, this, obviously he's a superstar. And so all of his films have to have these big epic numbers that these fans expect and he gets them, but like he's not, he doesn't have to do these insane moves that I don't think no, he could do. But that's the thing. He's never really had to do insane moves because mm -hmm. he's not a spectacular dancer. Yeah. He's, a, he's an actor who can move well. Mm -hmm. And because he's an actor who can move well, that's easier on you than somebody who's a spectacular dancer and then you age and you're in your 70s. It's like uh, Fred Astaire did this wonderful thing at the Oscars one year when he was in his 70s mm -hmm. and he did a little tap dance. And I mean, for anybody in their 70s to move like he did it, it you could see it was still there. But it wasn't what he had when he was 30. Yeah. You know? Uh, so, yeah, it helps. But I, I just, again, it flabbergasted at the production team. It, it probably helps, obviously, <laughs> Tim, with his age, is doing all this movement. Uh, one of the oldest people that's still moving, and he's, he's very proud of, is Dick Van Dyke. <laughs> that's the because... The dude's like 94. That's because he's always been moving. Yep. That's yeah. A, that's the title of his book. It is. Is it? Uh, always, always keep moving or always be moving, something like that. Oh, wow. Yeah. But yeah, it, it's a very big thing of, you know, people comment a lot about my energy level and my ability to do what I can do. And I'm did only, you ever meet him? I worked with Dick Van Dyke. Which one? I did a show with Dick Van Dyke. What show? It was called How to Eat Like a Child. Oh, yeah, that's right. It was a TV special. And I, I remember being astonished. We were sitting down. We had a break in rehearsal. And we were just sitting down talking with him. And I said, so how old were you when you started tapping? And he said, I, I he never took a tap. Train tap dance. I went, what? He said, yeah, I, I learned tap because I needed to in the things that I did. And I just picked it up as I went along. I said, you are got to be kidding me. He said, nope, that's how I picked it up. He just has great charisma. Yeah. And he's always been able to move well. Yeah. He's, he's very lanky as well. Very, and very so lanky. Kind of, he kind of fits for, for tap as yeah, well. Yeah, but he's still... He's still dancing, and that's that's because he's always been dancing. So it's it's if you want to be dancing when you're 90, st start dancing hard when you're 20, and just don't stop if yeah. you're blessed with the good health to do it. But yeah, he and as you would expect, he was nothing but a sweetheart, like Michael Landon was. Like always hung out with the kids on break, didn't go to his trailer, wasn't aloof, sweetheart. So yeah, he's always yeah. been that way. Yeah, except when he was an alcoholic. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that. That's true. Burn Dick Van Dyke. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, let us know what the next songs we should react to are down below. <laughs>